What's up, Boomerizzles? How we doing? That was cringy as hell, I apologize. But, welcome back to the channel. It is I, King Boomer. Uh, the Queen's on hiatus today. Um, it's early in the morning. This is going to be the only video that I post today, and probably for the next couple of days, because me and the Queen, we have a busy work schedule this weekend. So, be on the lookout for more reaction videos starting Monday. Maybe Sunday. Maybe I'll sneak one in Sunday. But And if you haven't checked out our Instagram page, it'll be in the description below this video. Um, sometimes we post stuff on there. Not as often as we'd like to, but it is there. Um, we were posting a lot when we were in Greece, so if you want to check that out. We're getting close to 1,000 on there. So thank you guys so much for uh, the followers on the Instagram page. It's been really uh, great. Only a few weeks ago, it was only at like 200. Now it's almost at 1,000. So you guys have been absolutely fantastic. This reaction video, um, I actually chose to do this one because I was browsing around Braces Sucks channel. Shout out to them, uh, Daniel and Spencer, those guys are great. Um, but I was browsing around their channel and I saw that they did a Top Gear one that I haven't seen. This is the most offensive clips, and as Jer Jeremy Clarkson would say, in the world. Okay? okay sorry, that's... This is like a Donald Trump thing. Like, everything's so great. We're going to react to the most offensive clips in the world. It's going to be great because I'm so great. I'm just so great. But here we go. Most offensive clips in the world. You know me. I love offensive comedy. So, and I've grown to uh, love these guys even though I can't really watch their show. I forgot to do this, so let me set that up. And if you got more Top Gear reactions, let me know because I, I plan on doing the Argentina one even though it's like it looks like I can only find like two one and a half minute clips of it so if there's a better one let me know because that's the only way I know how to do that one and then there's one where they went to Vietnam that you guys talk about a lot so I'm gonna try to do that one too for you for you guys um, but anyway without further ado the most offensive clips in the world let's see what's going on here here we go so what news have you got then, James, this well, week? Well, actually, I've got some news from Korea. You, you can't tell, can you, that Top Gear's just been sold in Korea? No, no. <laughs> well, look, I don't think there's any evidence. I think we're smoothing it's, this one out nicely. It's not showing. Hello, you industrious little fellows. <laughs> <laughs> That's got him on side. Well yeah. done. Wow. It's not like we've ever upset anyone. I know. <laughs> well, there was the vicar whose tree I rammed in the Toyota pickup truck. Yeah, no, Everyone in Wales. And everyone in Burning and everyone in America. Yeah. Uh, now, it's unlikely to be here because uh, everyone does five. It's not going to be here because everyone's on drugs. That's all just full of ox. Uh, Al Gore says that's gone, so it's not going to be down there. That's full of spiders. Signposts here are all full of gibberish. They're all communists. Can't go there because the Americans will shoot you. <laughs> I love it. Just going, just pointing out a map of the world, just eviscerating every area. Oh, that's classic. I love how he he rests on Australia and he just picks out the spiders. Of all the things in Australia, you just pick on the pick the spiders. I mean, it's like Carl Pilkington said. It, uh, I I think he said it on the Ricky Gervais uh, show one time. He's like, everything there is bigger, bigger and angrier than anywhere else in the world. And I've never been to Australia, but it has that reputation. So if there's if that's a false reputation, if somebody wants to defend Australia. Because uh, everything there is big and angry, um, go for it. But from that's like the one main stereotype that Australia has, and it's not even about the people; it's just about the what's what's living there, other than the people. Um, but anyway, no, no, thank you. All right. Oh. Sadly, though, this was also too much for the U.S. government. I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys are doing the documentary. Oh, it is a documentary. It's not a like a fooling around show. No, it's a serious show. Jeremy's sincerity wasn't convincing, and his hand gestures didn't help either. Shut up, you goddamn! <laughs> Was he really giving him the finger? I couldn't really tell. Let me hold on. Let me look closer. Jeremy's sincerity wasn't convincing, and his hand gestures didn't help either. It looks like his index Shut finger. Up, you goddamn. It looked like his index finger. I'm not sure though. Um, 
And to me, it was his index finger. But I guess even, you know, his cops here, they, they can be a little... They, they don't like joking, people joking around when they're on the clock kind of thing. Most of them. Um, so that probably got them in some trouble. Frenzy cheese-eating surrender monkey. Yep. So if you're watching this in Saudi Arabia... <laughs> <laughs> Time wow. to break out your camel. What? <laughs> it's a carpet for you. <laughs> because I own a motorbike after that, Jeremy. Oh, did you? Yeah, a motor because he... I didn't yeah. know you were homosexual. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Most of my songs are about you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Can I just say... Button? What? You look like a gay cowboy. And you look like a gay terrorist. No, you look like a terrorist with a broken windscreen wiper, and your face is ridiculous. We should do a car that's quintessentially German. Well, just replace the spoons with little sausages. In no, the no. <laughs> Give it trafficators that go like that. <laughs> uh, I love how Clarkson always has to, um, when he does knocks on Germany, he's got to refer to their um, unfortunate past. But I get a kick out of it every time. I will say that the the Germans, I've met quite a few Germans. Um, they love coming to the states. It seems like, and they're all like the nicest people I've ever met. Hopefully, they can take a joke now. I, I'm sure they can because they they seem like lovely lovely people. A sat nav that only goes to Poland. Oh, I'm fine. The fan belts have been lost for a thousand years. <laughs> So. I'm probably going to have to cut that out. Why Sorry. would you want that? <laughs> I have to cut that part out because uh, it'll probably f get flagged, but that was... Uh, ACDC Back in Black, my favorite band of all time, and uh, one of the greatest songs of all time. A Mexican car, because cars reflect national characteristics, don't they? So German cars are sort of very well built and ruthlessly yeah. efficient. Italian cars are a bit flamboyant and quick. Mexican cars just going to be a lazy, feckless, flatulent <laughs> open. <laughs> Leaning against a fence asleep, looking at a cactus with a blanket with a hole in the middle on as a coat. <laughs> It's interesting because they they can't do food the Mexicans can they? Because it's all like sick with cheese on it. I mean, <laughs> refried sick. Yeah, refried sick. I'm sorry, but just imagine waking up and remembering you're Mexican. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, that was oh, that was oh, that was too far. Oh, that's funny. We love you, Mexico. Um, that's, if there's one thing that some Americans are good at, it's making fun of Mexicans, but, um, it's all in good fun. Actually, that's one of the things we're kind of known for, is taking the piss out of Mexicans. Um, even Mexican-Americans take the piss out of Mexicans. But, the way he said it, I'm sure that really upset, um, quite a few people when he, when he said that. It'd be brilliant because you, you could just go straight back to sleep again. Oh, I'm a Mexican. I'm oh, I'm going to do all day. That's why we're not going to get any complaints about this because the Mexican embassy, the ambassador's going to be sitting there with a the remote control like this. <laughs> they won't complain because this is a hard job. And I'm not just saying this to win favour with lorry drivers. It's a hard job. Change gear, change gear, change gear. Check your mirrors. Murder a prostitute. Change gear, change gear, murder. Check your mirrors. That's a lot of effort in a day. That is a proud moment. But there's a slope on it. Yeah, right. Yes, it's it is. Oh, man. Inside. If you're thinking of coming to America, this is what it's like. That's, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys are going to see that, but it's, it, yeah, that, that word it was a derogatory term, especially during the uh, Vietnam War. And, um,. Actually, that's a good pause, because with, was that part of the Vietnam special? Let me know in the comments, that particular part. But yeah, using that word, um, I, I don't think he 
did it on purpose. Maybe he did. It's Jeremy Clarkson. Who who really knows, right? But nah, uh, it it didn't seem like he was going out of his way to put that in. But I'm sure when they cut it up and edited it, they were put it in on purpose. That's for sure. Come for in. You got your best western. You got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat. Everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. That's us. It's not the holiday program. It's the truth. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. As you know, all these dumb windy squills let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What? Tallest race on earth now, the Dutch. Officially. Mind you, they do take a lot of drugs. That's why they like Top Gear so much. Hello, Dutchie. Bentley is owned by VW. Yeah. That car was styled by a Belgian, and it was engineered by a man called Ulrich Eichhorn. <laughs> Doesn't sound very British. Are you presenting it? Top Gear, or are you writing a letter to the Daily Telegraph? Well, I'm just saying that you know immediately that that car is German, because it's got too much power. They've overdone it, as usual, like they did on their French holiday in 1939. <laughs> Why do I think the German digs are so funny, man? Uh, every time that they throw one out, I, I always laugh at it. James the Queen is German, but yes. you don't sing Deutschland, Deutschland Uber Alleys every time she comes on the television, do you? Well, I do, actually. Yeah, he yeah. does. <laughs> they've what? nicked our airports, they've nicked all our fish, they've nicked all our building societies, they eat the heads off prawns, they throw donkeys off tower blocks, and they stab cows. <laughs> so that's what? That is the Spanish. <laughs> Anybody from Spain here? Sorry. Give me my fish back. <laughs> I changed from first to third on my pre-selection gearbox, which means technically I short-shifted. I like when that when car. I say short, I don't mean it's a nice that. Old school yeah. car. Not being rude. You, you, you oh, keep saying the short. No, no, yeah. I meant I short-shifted. I didn't know. I wasn't being clever. Left turn coming up in a hairpin. You're just telling me things you can see out the window now. You've got a cushion. Meanwhile, back in PC world... I didn't mean Jeremy's car was rubbish because it's a midget. I just meant that's what it is. It's a, it's a, an MG midget. It, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, these guys... They, yeah. I've heard that this is, like, one of the most successful shows ever made. And because of that, it I bet since they had like you know all the money, all the ratings that they eventually they were just like we don't give a fuck anymore. We're just gonna, we'll say whatever the hell we want to and, and see if anybody can do something about it. Was that why they were kicked off Top Gear? Maybe that's a good question to pose. Was that why it ended for them? Because I know the new Top Gear is like completely different um, cast and. These guys are on um, that show on uh, Amazon. I can't remember what it's called. But I know that these three do a show on Amazon now, which is basically like, you know, Top Gear on, in, a, in another name, essentially. But anyway, let me know about that. <laughs> Honestly, things I'd rather do than drive one of those include presenting next week's show while gently cupping James's scrotum. <laughs> We're off the air in Korea. Yeah, goodbye, industrious little oh. fellows. Um, oh, give me a minute. I'm going to have trouble shifting that vision now. That's... Anyway, You're going to have trouble shifting. Uh, beautiful. Was that really the most offensive clips in the world, though? I'm sure there was others that were much worse than that since I've been doing this, uh, a lot of Top Gear reactions over the past couple months. It was probably worse ones than that. But that's the question, because, you know, I haven't seen episodes from beginning to end, full episodes. I've only seen um, certain sketches or bits, whatever you want to call them, and then compilations like this one. But they see, they do seem to say a lot of um, offensive, off-color, off-putting things 
which, you know, it's all in good fun. But I imagine that that got them in trouble a lot and maybe was their downfall in terms of uh, the Top Gear show. Because it's still on, it just has different guys doing it. Well, it sounds like somebody's uh, mowing the lawn outside. But is there anything to that? I, I, I'm really curious about that right now. So let me know in the comments. Um, one of the things I do love about watching these three guys, though, is, you know, even though I've, like I said, I've never seen a full episode beginning to end, it generally seems like these three guys love each other, they're great friends, and they had a hell of a time doing this program, and it's... Oh, nice. Sorry. It just seems like, like their chemistry is just fantastic. Which, you know, a lot of times successful shows, if there's multiple people on the show, a lot of the times they don't get along very well. But these three guys, they must get along very well because they stuck together and made a whole new show, even though it's basically like the same concept on Amazon. Remind me what the name of that show is, by the way. Because I do have Amazon Prime, so I could probably check that out on my own. But, if you've got better compilations or anything from Top Gear that you want me to react to, uh, let me know. Like I said, the Vietnam one and the uh, Argentina one are two that I get requested the most. So I'll, I'll try to set aside time to do those for you in the near future. But, if you like that, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer, and you guys have a lovely day. Love you guys. Have a great one. Peace out.